here we are at round 26, and Eamon O'Carroll, probably, if he's honest, doesn't really know what his strongest side is because of injuries, because of suspensions that have hit the club hard in 2024 with those 111 changes made up to and including today. I mean, just taking the fact that Bradford have used 45 players and they have made those 111 changes, uh, is anyone surprised that I feel like this and I pick this sort of feeling up from the fans? Just take the halfback situation, the key spine positions. You've had Gaskell and Lilly for 10 games. You've had Jowett and Lilly for two. Davis and Lilly for four. Holmes and Lilly for four. Ott and Lilly for seven. It's going to be Salmon and Lilly in the halves for the sixth time this afternoon. And when you look at those halfback combinations, Gaskell and then you've got Tyron Ott and Lilly, which has had three wins, three losses and a draw. Well, Sweet and Lions, they will be first out of the sheds here at Bardacard Odsall. They finish the regular season with a trip to Odsall, knowing anything other than a win will mean they will face either Keefley, Rochdale, or Hunslet in a fortnight in that big. Yeah, I think that's the first one. Leave one. Championships going down to 13 teams next season. <laughs> It's 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 all coaches want good ball position, good ball territory, but what I'm noticing with Bradford in 24 is due to the utter dominance of the defensive system and the effort that the players are putting in, coupled with the sides forward wow, and the intensity that the Bradford forwards are playing at, Bradford are getting on top earlier in games than they probably have practised and expected. We saw last week against Halifax, Bradford, they get on top early doors, they get the good ball possession, and then seemingly, because they're in unfamiliar territory, because the defence is on top, because the forward pack is making the metres up the field, they then end up with good ball <laughs> position, good ball territory, as Eamon or Carroll calls it, and then you're trying to force the plays and trying to score on every set. So the message from Eamon or Carroll this afternoon is if that happens this afternoon against Swinton, then you need to play with that patience and that calmness. Nine try scoring chances last week, convert just one of those, and Bradford come away with a Loss win of against Halifax. It's very, very small, delicate margins, but this is where Bradford have certainly got to show this big crowd inside by the card odd salt this afternoon. That they mean the business, and this is all about building momentum now ahead of what will happen next week where we enter knockout rugby league football. The playoff race for 2024 going right down to the final round of the season, just as we predicted right at the start. Wakefield, Toulouse and Bradford, they've booked their place in the playoff party. Fourth place, York. They host Featherstone at the LNER this afternoon. Fifth place, Sheffield go to Dewsbury. Featherstone in sixth place. Just a point ahead of seventh place, Widnes. They go to York while Widnes travel up the M6 to Cumbria. They face Barrow Raiders and Paul Carey's side. And the interesting notion for York, Sheffield and Featherstone, given just how competitive and unpredictable the championship has been in 2024. All best case scenario for all four of those sides is they can all finish fourth, and the worst case scenario, they can all finish outside the playoffs. So, 80 minutes of the regular season to go. Who will join Toulouse Bradford in the playoffs? Good season's end. Hold on to how she said, Dave. Let us know in the comments on the Jokes and Radio Mixer Live on. You can download the app for your chance. He's ready to go. Away. Lovely rugby league community in there every Sunday afternoon. Come on. Who we'll is it going to middle. be? Who's yeah. going to be the other side eh? to miss out? Will it be York? Will it be Sheffield? Will it be Featherstone? Or will it hey. be the Witness Vikings? 
who've been in the playoffs all season long, but then Send in the front of me. at weekend, they suffered defeat. <laughs> yeah, look. And they have yeah, look. Look at the camera. The playoffs for the first yeah, like. time this season. Yeah, get that. With a narrow home loss to Toulouse it. last weekend. Oh, so you go get the ball. We've got the sides out on the field. Go get the ball. Side by side. Elsie. We are going to have ball. the 13 Go get that ball. Solidarity. He needs it. Rugby League tackles it against discrimination, against sport, in like society gosh. in general. There you go. Go on, Ted. Right, you're going to run that way. I'm just going to be waiting for you. Left to right, Mike, if you are here. Here, Lou. Uh, wrong side, yeah. Bye, Lou. Now the general manager. Which way? Yeah, right, right, you're right, right. swimming kicking so that way, yeah. We're led to believe this will be his. Well, there you go. He sent the wrong way. As an RFL match official on the same weekend that Ben Thaler. Hangs up the whistle oh, after a stellar 20 career. So Swinton <laughs> arrive at Hudson, knowing only a win can give them a chance of avoiding that third bottom place championship versus League One grand final winner playoff game in a fortnight's time. The margins are tight, and Barrow. Well, they're hosting yeah. Widness. They will look to avoid that game with a win over Widness. Could be on Saturday, Jade, there. Alan right, really Corbins well, and yeah, the I'm Widness Vikings hopes here, of a playoff really place. Happy? The first is their relegation from the Super League. So a loud, shrill blast of the whistle from Ooh. New Zealand official Michael Smale. One. Swinton kick down to Jordan Ooh. Lilly. He right. takes oh. the tackle, ten no. away from his own line. Gill goes right. in at dummy half. We're up, up and away here on West Yorkshire Radio. Jordan, Jordan. Syndicated Jordan. coverage. Oh on Bulls TV this afternoon. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest scores as and when they come in, but the championship, it's reached a thrilling, exciting climax here as Bradford, they look to build momentum ahead of the playoff game here at Bader Card Hudson next Sunday as we see Dan Smith, one of those four changes made this afternoon by Eamon O'Carroll, play the ball. Ten and a half way, short ball from Suter to no. Davis, they're on the halfway line on the last tackle, right, 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 right. Summit kicks yeah, to yeah, a little bit of space well. and that will Good bounce up player. kindly kick for the through. Welsh international yeah. Reese Williams who is brought down just yes. inside his own 20 oh. metre line, so oh. Swinton Lions no. in possession here and as we said, Alan Kilshaw's side, they'll be very similar to how the back the ball to play, they will really fight hard for every metre, every point, every opportunity must win at all costs for Swinton. Certainly a similar Hold. field to the game at the Shea last Hold. weekend. Nil Go nil three. gone, 90 seconds That's gone on the bubbly. clock. Swinton, 10 shy oh, half way on top of the ball. As Gavin Benyon, the former Workington man, plays the ball. It's going to go out of dummy half from Eves. Now to Gibson. Okay. Ball goes on that left hand side. Good defence from Samet there and Fulton. Swinton on the last tackle. They'll put good to ball just shy of halfway. As this one's going to be into the arms straight away from Lily. Lily now invites Holmes onto an attacking run. Holmes takes that one and he's rolled over 15 shy of halfway. Bradford back in possession. Their second possession Go. right at the start Go of this us. game this afternoon. Suter on the dummy hand. He's on tackle hold. two. The five shy of halfway. It's West Yorkshire Radio, yeah, West Yorkshire Rugby yeah. League. The season. Hold. Certainly Go. deliver some Push drama up, this there. afternoon as we see oh, Harvey Makin in that loose yeah. forward position. Oh, Ball's come loose. Zero. It's a loose carry from Makin. First oh, error no, of the afternoon. On the 30. And that the was a lovely bullet 30, ball yeah. straight into the arms yeah, yeah. there. In fact, it's Going not Harvey Makin, it's uh, Logan Bailey yeah. who yeah. I believe yeah. 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 the ball there. Yeah. Yeah. There were three yeah. blue navy shirted Winter defenders who came in there and put the squeeze on. Over this way, boys. Just happy to concede well, that yeah, error there. Do, 30 metres out yeah. from the Swinton. Yeah. Oh, right, guys, so on so Swinton. Well done, they boys. will have Back head and feed at the scrum. Down, Tom, clock off, it boy. Just over three minutes gone Ow! this afternoon Lad's here good. at Barakar Odsel. Oh, and for the final time in One. the regular no. season. Hold! Hold! Go. Let's see what happens this afternoon as we see Swinton up to halfway on tackle two. number two. Mitch Fox, Hold! 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 
Well, they were Go named the Centurions yeah, in 2019, yeah. obviously the Leopards, right, as we see Jordy Gibson and again, get already Suter. trying to yeah. sprinkle some authority on proceedings. Ah, Gun! There, but that's Hold, good, sterile, uh, good Hold! Strong defence there. He's all right there. Swinton's attack just a little bit sterile there. Easy to sniff oh, out as uh, young John oh, Bourne, the cold. 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 youngster, Go. carries Swinton. Five inside the Bradford half of the field. We're now going to see the forward once again, Gavin Benyon. Wrapped up on what is the last oh, tackle. So this is a good defensive set by Bradford. The restricted Swinton to just 20 metres. Outside the kick's going to come in from Stevens. Yeah, he targets know. Holmes. Holmes yeah, takes yeah, that five away from his own try line. And as the sun One. just starts to peak out here behind Hold. the grey clouds at Barra Cardo, so Bradford back in possession there. Third possession at the start of this game. Two, Johnny and out. Moving the ball out Hold. from their own 20 metre line here with Jaden Myers. Who gets Lewis Hall is off Lewis Hall. Sam at a dummy half and now Bradford oh. will Miles receive the penalty the because Swinton are guilty. Miles the off, Dad, offside encroaching inside the 10. That's way too far, isn't it? So, a chance for Jared Sammett. It's hard Sammet. to get long teams here, though. Sixth appearance for there. the Bulls this yeah, season. Yeah, no, give us Made his here. debut in that 24-hour yeah, yeah. draw with it, like, against Barrow. No he will boot the ball deep into touch. And it will be a chance for Bradford now to go on the attack. Hold! We are 30 yes! from the Swinton Hold! line as Bayliss gets to his feet. Tackle one, he'll play the ball. Suit and oh. out to make it. Making okay, on, with the line on. break, founds the support on the outside with Davis. Yeah, Davis is wrapped up there oh, by yeah. Stevens and Benyon. Another you quick play of the ball from the Bulls. The yeah. 10 out in front of the post. Time. Lily finds a runner there from Smith. Hold! And the former Castleford yes! Huddersfield man is rolled Hold! over. Eight out Hold! in front of the Swinton Go post. Three. Bradford looking to get the early ascendancy. They might okay, just get okay. it, but Lily's one pass one. Well, has been picked off walking. here. And that was Don't great okay. defensive work Delight from Mitch Cox, yeah. who was really alert Dude. to that. And but Bradford have come up with right. an okay. error. Lily's pass picked off, and now Lily's gone Lewis high. And it's going to be yeah. Swinton's first penalty of the afternoon. Those teams, mate, come on. Well, Eamon O'Carroll did follow suit with Paul oh, Rowley and what mate. Paul Thank Rowley you, and Salford did last Run. weekend in that game against Wigan. Oh, me, yeah, yeah. Eamon O'Carroll looking to find consistency and rhythm this afternoon. And when we did the press conference on Friday, on, on. he going, was really going, fired zero, up zero. and excited um, about sticking to his Release. guns and selecting the strongest zero possible player. squad to Fern Swinton this afternoon as Definitely we see a one. big hit Move. here Drake. from Lehman and Makin. And now Swinton have come up with Good an luck. error and Bradford back in possession now. Another full set of six Turn on the halfway now. line. So, Hold. Lily's pass that was intercepted. Bradford back on the attack with Suter, who goes down the middle out of dummy half. And he's going to be wrapped up there by Lewis Hall and Mick Cox. And some of the supporters seeing that. Go that three. tackle just went above the shoulder blade. Okay, Another loose three. pass by the Bulls. Certainly not clinical or composed oh, with the Bryce. ball in an attacking sense, Bradford. They're going to come down the middle now. Very direct route. All the way, guys. Harvey making the Wigan Warriors. No knee, and they're on Go. the last tackle, the Bulls here, on the last tackle, Sam right, hey. boots a ball, looks for Myers, Swinton have knock got on, possession with Reece Williams, but he's no, lost it, lost it. It's the touch judge Bradford. on that far stand side will say the Welsh International no, couldn't Jayden. take Samet's crossfield kick in, so it's going to be a repeat set from the Bradford please, Bulls, please, they will go outside. back to Bradford, and they'll have a fresh set of six, ten metres out from the Swinton line, hey boys, so me, yeah. we've had that, guys. just over seven Stop minutes on the clock here at Barra Card Oxel, and the scoreboard remains Bradford nil, Swinton nil, Bradford having some early pressure here on the Swinton line, can they make that pressure down from the scoreboard? So it's a scoring centre field underneath the post as Lily now gives the ball to Lehman and Lehman's in at the corner. Max Lehman, too much power, too much pace, goes past Bedding and Rickson and Max Lehman opens the scoring this afternoon. A confidence boosting try for the former Brisbane Tigers winger. It's his sixth try of the season for Super Max Lehman. Exactly eight minutes gone on the clock. And it's the Bradford Bulls who lead Swinton here in a must win. Crucial game for the Lions. Fight four points to nil. Yeah, yeah. And that was good attacking play. We've just said they've not really seen much calmness cohesion with Bradford's attacking play with a couple of errors and the ball going on the floor from hey. the rook 
but yeah, that but was a well executed listen. move. He's good, though, mate. That's something that I've witnessed when I've been privileged to uh, come to watch the Bradford Bulls training well, the uh, one, sessions boy. during the week here at by the card odd salt and there was nothing there that Dan Abram, T Rix and Jake Spedding could do because it was a lovely cut out ball that what missed out mean? Davis, missed That's out minute, Gill, like. Lehman from minute 15 out, coasted in at the corner. Thanks, Kick boy. predictor turned on for the first time this Coming afternoon. Down. It's saying 38% for Jordan Lilly from wait, the touchline wait, wait, against wait, wait, the yeah. wind. That one will go straight between the posts and Bradford have an early 6-0 lead here this afternoon. Bradford 6, Swinton 0. West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Also Bulls TV. Yeah. Well, we'll do our best to keep you up to date with the latest scores as and when they come in this afternoon. Certainly some big games taking place in the championship this afternoon how good was St. Helens against Wellington uh, yesterday evening don't want to spoil the score if no one's managed to watch that game but that one was a real humdinger so here we are at back two move Josh hold the ten hold Bradford six Winton nil Bradford back on the wee start it's coming down the middle here with Logan Bayliss who's going through a lot of work early doors Gets the Go quick three. play of the ball in Suter out of dummy half. Finds Fulton. Okay. Fulton Bell. juggles Four. the ball but keeps hold of possession. Somersaults himself Jeff. forward. The Tenshire halfway. Four. Lily Four. Four. Suter middle. It's 20, Suter. But yeah. The bounce of the ball is going to be kind for the former Barrow no. fullback, Dan Abram, who will take that from his own 10 metre line before Go he's on. crunched and munched and Hold. sandwiched there by Go. Makin and Davis in a two man tackle. Josh Eves, the former Lee St. Helens. Wakefield oh, nine no! darts out a dummy Hold. half and makes Hold. five metres or so. They're 25 shy halfway here at Swinton, trailing 6 0. Three away now! Of the ball. Hold. Minutes. Reese Williams Good playing the, the ball, 15 shy halfway as we see Jaden Hatton carry Swinton up to oh, halfway. And what is Hold. One left Hold. on the set here uh, for the Good. Lions as the ball goes back in centre field here. What can Gibson do? Gibson gives the ball there. Oh, to ben work him. Benyon's wrapped up, five inside the Bradford half, fifth okay. and last tackle. Benyon is a high hanging spiralling bomb, a difficult one for Holmes, but it takes that one under no real kick chase pressure. And then oh, Holmes no will make 10 metres after contact there with the back row forward, Mitch Cox, and now Bradford go back on the attack Shoot! here. And Hold. Max Lehman gets a quick play of the ball. In Suter right goes hard now with dummy half, snipes forward. Tackle two, eight. Bradford just shy of halfway. Already getting on Hold. top in this game, you feel, yeah. as Lily now goes short to Davis, and Davis will just take three Swinton Lions defenders oh, in five Mikey. inside the Swinton no. half, Suter dummy okay. half, down the middle here with Smith. Smith, second phase play behind to Makin. Makin's no, role gets third away right. from the Swinton Hold. try line. Centre Hold field, it is the last tackle here for the ball. Suter to Sam. Oh, oh, Sam oh, 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 in the middle. Ball. Is the Williams. The clear. This time yeah, Abram just gets one. there Move in the nick of time. It was a late Hold. call there from Hold. the Go. Swinton fullback, but Reese Williams was underneath it, and in the end, Williams just... Yeah. Or so, and oh, come on. to take Hold. it under no, pressure there from Romain Franco, Samet and Myers and now Swinton three. struggling to get Romain. a little bit of momentum Hold. forward here the five Hold. metres in from the no, far three. stand side on their own 20 metre line as Gibson moves it along the line and Suter very elite oh, no. defence with Hold. John Davis Go. wrapping up Gavin Benyon there and Swinton now are going to be Help! on the last tackle, Rice! deep inside their own half. Go, it's Bradford last. 6, Winton 0 here. Stephen Hills again will kick from strong. inside his own 30. Holmes takes it on the 10, he's up to the 20, he's up to the 30, he's Tom Holmes, he's up to the Two 40. Guns. He's One. finally brought Move, down never. 45. Hold. Out from Hold. his own line, Hold. and that was a crucial Go tackle one. there. Slip it had to be from one. Lewis Hall and Mikey Wood, the former Bradford man. Two and they're up halfway on tackle Hold. two of the Bradford Bulls. Go two. Good Johnny. Just over ten minutes gone here. Bradford six, Swinton nil, and the ten inside the three. Men together. Jordan Hall. Just, just to the right Hold. of centre field. Go. Suited Good job. Misses out Smith, finds Lily. Lily's absolutely Good out now. 
in the Old back go. by Lewis Hall, but Bradford immediately go on a surging run ah! down the middle here with Harvey hey, May, King, the 25 Hold. out on the last. Hold. So they've got options no. towards right. the left, they go to the right with Samet. Okay, Samet right, the right side's good. Again. Yeah. Hits towards and Franco down. and Myers, one. but Reese Williams Move, put down break on, on. on the, the field of play. Once again, very alert kick chase pressure there from Bradford. Two, man, will be Hold. pleased with that Hold. aspect and side of Bradford's game. If you are just joining us, we've had three minutes men, gone on the clock here at Barry Hard Odsell, and it is Bradford Bulls six. Swinton Lions Four, no Jordan score in this must-win game for Alan Kilshaw's side. And the Swinton Lions, as we now see there. Swinton come up with error number four of the afternoon, because no, on, Mikey Wood accurate, can't take that into no. the arms, and that now will give Bradford Irish. scrum head and feed. Twenty-five yesterday. And Hinton. the lady scores, no, it's all time for the Our own no witness, no no scoreless between oh, Drew and Sheffield, yeah. scoreless between York okay, and Featherstone. Okay. So the only points this afternoon thus far have One, come from Max Lehman. Two, and Bradford hold, are looking to double their hold, lead and advantage hold, here hold, after that error no. from Mikey Wood. A suitor now out of dummy half to Smith. Smith looks to offload the ball, but he's wrapped up in a three man tackle. It was Max Fox who just came in. And stop that right oh. arm from offloading the ball, no, but he'll get a quick play of the Come ball on, and five away in front of the post. Sammet okay. to no, Fulton. Right. Three, Fulton's nine. caught on the shoulder blade Hold. there, according Hold. to the official. Who's an ass from the well. crowd? Suiting out towards Sammet to Makin. Making runs direct, Hold straight the line. into Hold some the line, heavy Nick. Swinton Lions defensive traffic. Out. Out. Tackle Hold. left after Hold. this one, Bradford. Hold. Five out, centre field. Suiter. Okay, Sloppy still pass, but it's going to come off for the Bulls. Yeah. And right, Tom Holmes recovers possession. And he goes in at the corner. Past T. Rinson, past Jake Spedding. Yeah, it's it's Tom Holmes' yeah, eighth no, try of the season. Absolutely. Bradford do capitalise on Swinton's sloppiness yeah. with ball in hand. We've had 14 right. minutes gone on here, the right? clock. No, that, no, and it's looking very, very good and rosy at this moment in time for the Bulls. Lehman and Holmes, the early try scorers for Eamon O'Carroll's side. And once again, with this blustery wind here at Barricade Odsell, Jordan Lilly will have another tough conversion exactly. attempt from this touchline. Also currently scoreless between Rochdale and Hunsley at Spotland. So two early tries for the Bulls. Ten points to nil. There again, Coxie. Yep. I'm sure when you watch that one back on the uh, replay, you'll understand what I meant by a sloppy ball. It, Looked like Swinton were looking to pick it off, but right. Tom Little Holmes kick. got there and from around about 12 metres out, he just had the momentum of racing forward to recover the loose pass and just went on a lovely diagonal run towards the corner. So kick predictor turned on, it was 38 for the first one, it's now saying 43% for Jordan Lilly, who's kicking at 79% Coming this now. season. So two metres in from touch, wait, wait. and this one and just no. won't curl enough. Them shank. He's kind of gone for a Jonathan Thurston-esque <laughs> conversion, trying to curl it in and use the wind as a navigation tool. Buggy. But unfortunately for Jordan Lilly, the Same wind you, didn't help him, man. and that one yep, just open. goes across the face. Like so Lilly, one Just's from two, up, but so far Catch so good the for the Bulls. We have 14 Just minutes gone on the clock on West Yorkshire Radio this afternoon, and it's Bradford Bulls 10. Sweet and Lions no score ready? here. And it is still scoreless <laughs> elsewhere in oh. the championship at Craven Park, at the Tetley Stadium, okay, at Bellevue, infield, infield, infield. at the it's Recreation okay. Ground and at the LNR. Oh, scoreless between York and Fenderston. Oh, Any score Rice. updates we will... Oh. Give them to you oh. when they are possible. Go. But on the restart, Swinton and again, big are doing old. well because Bradford, after coming oh. from Smith Rice. and Bayless, that's Hold. still 10 metres out from the road try through. line. So there's a bit of renewed focus That's here from right. Alan Kilshaw's side as Fulton now carries Bradford yeah. up to their own 20 metre line and wins the penalty because they've the simply place. just Second held Fulton down in the tackle there for too Second long effort. for referee Michael Smale's liking. 
and that will be Bradford's third penalty of the afternoon and it's going to be an opportunity Touching for between, Bradford like. to earn In some between, valuable metres upfield. So Romain Franco will tap the ball, give the ball to Samet. Samet now to Bayliss. Bayliss is going to be one. wrapped up there no, by Wood and Kenyon. Tackle one. A couple of no. metres shy of halfway. Suter out of dummy half now to Smith. Smith goes through Joe a Lewis, gap no. and he's brought down Hold. eight metres Hold. inside the Swinton half of the field. Suter's in there with dummy half. Misses out making fine Samet. Bayliss and Bayliss. 35 away oh. from the Swinton line, no, just to the right of centre field. The They're going short side now with Suter to Lilly to Fulton. Fulton scores oh, again above Sell the up. Hold. chest, but the officials say no, oh, it's legal. Fulton not happy yeah. with that one. Complains to Maddie Lynn on the far stand side. As Bradford now have no, come up with error number three of the Stay afternoon, up. as Harvey Makin can't take in. That Middle. pass from Jared Samet, and that will give Swinton head of the lead at the scrum. Yeah, boys. Well, after the game the last weekend, as always, <laughs> you get a very honest opinion from <laughs> Kevin <Kieran laughs> Gold. Always one to face the media, media after his team uh, yeah. has disappointed. I mean, you and, and and yeah. and yeah, yeah, spoke to Kevin Gold after the game at the chair, and he very calmly told us the interview, by the way, is on the West Yorkshire Radio One. SoundCloud page. Gilly very calmly Go. told us how and why the side lost. And Gilly's always won, never to resort to excuses. Oh, and that's a good nice. trait to have. Hold. And the frustration insight from Gilly good was Harvey. Halifax simply wanted to win the game more than Bradford. Nice. And uh, that's a bit of a, a damning, honest three, no, Bradford, yes, so far, so good. Go three, good. 10 0 on the scoreboard. 16 gone on the clock as Swinton move the ball down the middle with their big oh, men and they're just shy a halfway Hold. here. Josh Eaves is a dummy half. Suter and Bayliss, the A and B marker defenders. And Eaves That's now okay. finds Master. Adam back on the inside. A bit of second phase play from the Lions, but they're on the last tackle. So it'd be set. Stevens once okay. again okay. from Kick halfway. Boot to ball. Holmes is going to take this one from oh, the clouds. And he's wrapped up 10 out underneath his own course. Sam's in there at dummy half. Short ball to Lehman, who opened the try scoring for the Bulls in the eighth minute. So Bradford, 10. Oh, there's a dangerous tackle here on Max Lehman. And it's coming from Jack Stevens. The former Salford half has kind of lifted Samet up above the horizontal and he's dumped him. Sorry, uh, Lehman up above the horizontal and he's dumped him head first. I think this might just be a penalty. We'll wait and see what the officials say. But both touch judges on the field, and it'll be Ryan Cox who will make the judgment on this one. <laughs> to his credit, he's got straight back up off the floor as Max Lehman, but it will be another penalty to Bradford. Swinton, as we know, in their last Children two outings, they've had two players yeah. sent from the field, yeah. two players so in the sim bin. The they know they need to win this at all costs this afternoon. And Michael Smale taking a little bit of deliberation here with Ryan Cox over what might happen. Well, the doctor for the Bulls is on the field, just making sure everybody's okay. And I think it's just going to be a penalty to the Bradford Bulls. And Michael Smale just explaining to Bradford captain Jordan Lilly for this afternoon. Jerry, you going from here? It was a dangerous tackle. So it's a penalty here to the Bulls. Both Swinton and Bradford at 13 men. And Eben Skirr about to come on the field as Eamon O'Carroll brings the changes. So Kieran Gill, five inside the Swinton half. Davis in at Dumma half. Now to Lily. Lily along the line to Skirr. And the homegrown player is dumped and turned and twisted in a tackle suit dummy half now to smith smith's five ten three right there on the right two tackles left for the bulls the lead swinton by 10 points to nil and dan smith's gone down here hold gets to his feet i think there's a little bit of claret coming from the forehead there of smith as may king goes on a attacking run that's the Hold. fourth tackle gone Hold. for Bradford. One remaining, 20 out. Inside the Swinton 20 now with Davis. 
Davis runs a lateral line, now he straightens up, and Davis carries Bradford. Ten out from the Sweeten line, they're on the last tackle. Suter goes out of dummy oh, half, double kick into the end goal area. Two running from Mick Suter. Running with him, and running with him. And that now will be a six go, tackle set, tackle. a relieving six tackle set for the Swinton Lions. Because they've just had to soak up a lot of pressure. Zero. Oh, no. And look at that for a big tackle oh. from Mick Suter. He just went straight go. into Jaden Hatton, lifted him, dumped him. All legal, One. all above Boom. board, and that's got this big... Go. Odsall crowd beating the drum, blowing the trumpet. Well, Alan Kilshaw is now no! reading the changes to match John! what Eamon O'Carroll's done with Ant Walker, the former witness hey. Bradford man, uh, getting two. to his feet and playing the ball as we Three, see Sweet no, now ten inside the Bradford half of the oh. field. And this is probably in the opening 20 John, minutes the furthest Sweet have been in the Bradford one. half, but they've That's come up okay, with yet fine, another error one. as they try to one. overplay, no, force Jordan. the pass, oh, and no! Evan Skurs come up with that loose ball as he's held now in the tackle by Ant Go Walker. On. It's getting a little bit sloppy out there on Two. the field. Sweeten up to five errors now. Oh. That won't please uh, Alan Kilshaw. And I'm kind of guessing, hard. even Josh if is. Alan Kilshaw is resigned Three. for oh. Sweeten to ultimately be in that playoff Four. game against Four. 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 Rochdale Four. or Hunslick, he'll certainly be one to finish in the regular season with something to build on, something to work with. Uh, ahead Surrender! of that game in a fortnight's time. Bradford on the last Surrender! tackle kick from Lilly. Return there by Abram up to his own 20 Go metre on. line. It's fast and it's relentless here now at Baracardo. So two. it's Williams Move, short, two, 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 by Franco Go, and Myers. And now it's going to go on this short side here with John Vaughan three. and the red skin back. And the young St. Helens low knees rolled over 15, Go, try a half way. If you're just joining us, Ant Walker's three, dumped yeah, on the get, top of my suit, but he gets the offloading. Stevens yes, brings it over on this main stand Fireman! side and it's Mick out! Cox who's going to be wrapped up on Good tackle boys. number four. Josh Eves out of dummy half, back to Ant Walker who must have only been on the field 90 Last! seconds but he's had three big Hold. powerful Go. carries. They're on the last really tackle, on the, the team, Lions, boys. on halfway. Jordy Gibson, uh, the former yeah, North Wales Crusader man, man, kicks on the last, straight down the throat of Holmes. And Holmes is wrapped up 20 out from his own try line. Hold. So here at Barakar Odsall, we've had 20 Go minutes run. gone on the clock. It's Bradford 10, Swinton 0. And it's still scoreless between Two. York and no, Featherston. No. But... Hughesbury oh, are leading so. Sheffield by 12 points to nil. And oh, Barrow a leading yeah. witness. 8-4 at Craven Park. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, Franklin good. Pelly's just come on the field for Harvey Making. So Bradford now oh. skittling and barreling nice. over Swinton defenders as Franklin Pelly's made 30 metres. And Bradford now 20 out from the Swinton line as Evan Skur carries them okay. forward, oh, keeps oh, the ball oh. going to Suter. Suter's well, ball okay, picked up on. the boot laces okay. by Samet. No look pass from Samet to Franco. Franco yeah, back to Samet, but the ball's gone forward into the arms of Reese Williams. Down. Exciting, frenetic Go. play there from the Bradford Bulls. Go, Not quite sure left. they needed to be doing Two, that, throwing it around the gay abandon, Hold. but it does remain Hold. Bradford 10, Sweet to nil Go after Davies those early tries from Max Lehman John. and Tom Holmes. But certainly. Hold! What a shock Hold. result that no, would be. Dewsbury just one win all season, leading oh, Sheffield by 12 points to nil. Hold. And Witness have just hit back at Craven Park. It's Barrow 8, Witness 8. Swinton here on halfway, Evan. on the last tackle, centre field. Mikey Wood gets to his feet. Okay, Hold. 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 on the last. Tracked there by Summit. Kick once again, taken for the one. seventh no, time this afternoon, Hold. cleanly by Tom Hold. Holmes, and Holmes will get Bradford up to their own 20 metre line. Now it's going to be Jaden Myers, tackle two, two. who's sandwiched Hold. there in Hold. a crunchy tackle by Lewis Hold. Hall and Ant Walker. Gets up a little bit gingerly there, and here goes Franklin Pelly. Three the line! Johnny Lewis! Halfway. Tackle Hold. three here Go for three. the Bradford Bulls. Halifax leading Whitehaven by oh, 16 no points to four at the recreation Hold. ground, and Rochdale Hold. Looking Go, like they're four. heading to Cougar Park next Sunday for the League One Grand Final. They lead Hunsley 12-6 okay, at Spotland as John Davis is wrapped up by T. Ritson. Still going, still going. Jack Last Stevens. Yeah. On the last tackle, the Bulls here. 10-0 the lead. Hold. 
just inside the Swinton half. Goes back on halfway to Lily. Lily outside, looks all up. the middle, okay. and Davis, the elite. Yeah, all right. Okay, Takes okay, it on the through. tang. Here's that red, amber, and black, white shirted wall of Bradford One. resilience. Back, and they've Hold. managed to wrap Abram Hold. up. 15 out from Hold. his own line on tackle number go on. one. We've got 15 minutes to go to half time here the at the card. Hold. So no scoring goal. Hold, go, milking, play on. Bit of a cool, crisp afternoon here. The wind not playing too Three. much for the park. Get out! Proceedings. It must be Don't said at stage. Swinton Three. now play playing on. the ball. 20 shy of halfway Eight. as uh, Jordan okay. Gibson... Is wrapped up there by Fenko and Suter. Tackle four coming four. up for Alan Kilshaw's side. There's a drop of the shoulder from Jordan Kate to hold the Rochdale man. Okay. That's 10 valuable ah! metres for Swinton. They're on the last tackle. Go. The 40 out from the Bradford line. Gibson okay, right. targets Cowan Holmes again. Holmes yeah, gets to come up with the error. Does okay, well and takes that Shortest. one under pressure Man. there from Jordan Hatton. Hold. So great take here. Go. He's got a spring in his Good step, is Tom Holmes, after signing yeah, that yeah, one-year yeah. contract extension. Bradford Town sweeps a nil. Hold, go to. Two quick-fire tries at the LNER, Josh well, Hardcastle we... and Liam Harris. Three, Six lads. points apiece oh. at the LNER. Oh. Well, at half-time, we'll certainly go through yeah. the permutations of, of what is going to happen in the current oh. line. No. It's Hold. changing. Go, Almost regularly as we speak, because witness at this moment in time, they are leading Barrow, no, so no. they're coming to Wadsall next Hold. Sunday. Come here, come here, Luke. Stand. Bradford Go. on the last tackle, on halfway. Smith will play the ball. Super Outside, Davis and Gill. Where are we? Targets Abram. <laughs> okay. Takes it from his own 10, Much up to the 20. Good defence there from Lehman and Gill. And Swinton, one. 20 out Move. from the main line on tackle Go. number one. As we see Stevens going there at dummy half. Gives the ball to Spedding, the former St. Helens Barrow. Feverston man right. who's wrapped up no, 12 no. out Shire halfway. Gibson goes in at dummy half to Williams. The Welsh International. Oh, he's up five shy of halfway. Swinton moving the Remain. ball now with Jordan Case. Oh, Looking for impact off the oh. bench is Alan Kilshaw. Oh. Bradford thus far no. have managed to navigate oh, and Davies negate and left. any extra pressure oh, off okay, the bench. So Swinton okay, now okay. trying to give the ball and some four. room to T. Yeah. Rickson, who picks it up. Is well, this one laterally 50 Slip. metres across the whole face of the pitch here for a couple of metres gain and he's wrapped up on the last tackle. So once again, oh, he's got a ball this time yeah. from Jordan yeah. Gibson. Yeah. Targets Holmes, okay. comes off the chest. And Bradford now oh. can turn defence into attack Run. as Tom Holmes Run. makes Run. 25 Run. metres shy of the halfway line and he wins the penalty because Swinton are just guilty well. of laying on. It's after, a fourth mate. penalty that Swinton have conceded. This one 25 shy of halfway. Holmes injecting. If you get no, if he goes in after I've called held, it's got to be quick. That up in the tempo kind of attitude there, and Swinton not liking it, so conceding a very soft Jesus. penalty. But here goes Franklin Pelly on an attacking run. run. Hey. So Bradford, Go. 35 away now from that oh, Swinton yeah. try line as Smith gives the ball. Some movement towards Fulton. Yeah, sure, Fulton's two. 25 out. Now, Johnny. Two. Johnny. Hold. Bradford looking to Go get a third try plans. here. Big hold this one. Swinton yep. doing he well in defence. Four players there. Three, three, and and down. That leaves them Back short down this left hand side. Hold. Is that where the ball hold. goes? Go. Sammet's calling for it. Summit gets it. They do go down the left. Okay, Sammet okay. finds the ball to Pelle, and Pelle from 25 okay, metres okay, out, okay. he will go past T. Rickson, Dan Abram, and score a truly spectacular try. And that was all down to the vision, the creative brilliance of Jared Sammet. There was four defenders tackling Dan Smith. Sammet looked up. He realised Swinton was short on the left edge, oh, and that's where yeah. Samet went. He went down the left. Yeah. Lovely offload. Oh, out the good, tackle we'll to get, Franklin we'll Pelle. And Pelle now so try number six you know, you know, of the geez. season. And that now is six tries in, in his way. last five home outings. Yeah, well, the scoreboard yeah. looking a little bit better yeah. for the Bulls. 
because we're in the 28th minute here at Barna Cardinal and it reads Bradford 14 at Swinton nil and that has come off the back of Swinton messing around at the play of the ball referee Thanks, Mike Brian. Smale standing for no nonsense oh, this afternoon yeah, all right really that's quite refreshing <laughs> oh, the match oh, time, a match official not saying this isn't always the case but it is quite refreshing one minute, to see a match official stamp out that slow, grubby play because Bradford clearly in the mood to up the tempo and play rugby league. Swinton out, clearly Jordan. trying to disrupt it. Jordan Lilly then, can Wait. he have the extra two points to the yes. penalty score? Yes, he can. Bradford Bull 16, Swinton Lions nil here at Bada Card Hudson. We've got 12 minutes yeah, to go mate, to half right. time. And Bradford, yeah, is that right? yeah. well worth and minutes, this yeah. free yeah. score lead. T! T! Well, hey, Sheffield Eagles have hit back yeah, yeah, against yeah. Jewsbury at it. the Tetley Stadium. It is Jewsbury 12, run, Sheffield boys. 4. Ready, well, Sheffield lose that and witness win. There's a chance the Eagles are out of the playoffs. Got a well, it's an afternoon of high drama in the championship. On the restart, Eben Skurs caught high. It's now five penalties to one in favour of the Bradford Bulls. Wakefield, incidentally, leading Doncaster by 14 points to six. But it's still six points apiece at the LNER Stadium. That Hardcastle and Harris tries in a nail biter. Bradford are looking for more points as we. Go. Head towards half time. Just under 10 minutes left here in this first half as players now, over Lewis. on the Swinton. Hold. Hold. So once again, Swinton Go Lions ill discipline. Just advancing Bradford up the field. Here goes Lily now, misses out Davis, okay. finds Holmes. Holmes is going to be wrapped up in a two man tackle. Still 15 out. This one to the left hand side. Three of the here, boys. Two Get tackles out. for oh, Bradford no. to play oh. with here. Trapping. 16 0 oh, the Bulls lead. Go, three. Suter now. Lily misses out. Smith finds Skur and Skur gets those two oh, table legs driving forward. Hold. And he's 10 Go. metres out underneath right the team, Swinton Johnny. Lions post. Lily now misses out Pele, finds Samet. Samet now to Fulton. Fulton brought down by a three Swinton Lions defensive tackle. Go, and the two metres out here on Go. the last tackle, the Bulls. Okay. Pele's got the ball no, with God, the line no, begging. Fixed on the you ten. can see what the Bulls were trying to the do there tackle. on the power play. Sooner out of dummy half, straight into the arms Deck. of Pele. Pele on couldn't take yeah. it in. Just Bradford's mat, fifth yeah. error know, in this first half. And it remains Bradford the Bulls. Yeah. 16, Swinton Lions, Lions hold, nil here at Bada Card also. It's still 6-6 six, six between York and Featherston. It's Chewsbury 12, One, Sheffield two. 4. Hold. And look at this, Go. Barrow 8, witness 10. Oh, well, the games that matter this afternoon, very, very little Hold. between Hold. the two sides in each of those three fixtures. Right, As we good. said, time three. and time again in 24, the championship simply unpredictable. So what can Swinton offer now? Help! Help! Right. Attacking for it up to halfway. Four, it's been all Bradford in the last five minutes. Okay, okay. 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 On tackle three from Jack Stevens. Holmes once again is going to shift across. He'll take Jesus. it. Okay. And it's a risky pass to Max Lehman. And Max Lehman's flying here. And Bradford yes, are going to score a sensational try as Max Lehman puts the afterburners on. Goodbye! Okay. Okay. Risky one. stuff from Tom Holmes. He put everything on black and the roulette ball, it landed <laughs> on black 11 and Lehman. He has absolutely got the He's supporters lost. in this here, big old soul crowd oh, ecstatic. No, <laughs> it was from Bradford's own try line. It was nearly picked off oh. by Dan Abram, but Max Lehman, He's rolled back the clock. 12 months to his impressive well, try scoring well, form with the hey, Brisbane Tigers in the season. Queensland Cup. <laughs> that was a super was spectacular try. And I know it was the Bradford Bulls awards night last Friday, but let me tell you, if that try happens, that is down for one of the tries of the season. 
but it was high risk. It was high percentage play from the Bulls because Holmes had got it and dealt with the kick. And it was that pass that oh, very man, nearly was picked off goal. on his own try line <laughs> by Dan time. Abram, who was yeah. probing and hunting. But on moments like that, a gale play. that will delight this <laughs> big okay. Bradford crowd. <laughs> Lehman, his Michael second Bell. try of the afternoon. And it's an Odsall classic. I get that burger then Kick predictor turned on for Jordan <laughs> Lilly. Five metres in from touch, it's seen 48%. Can he contend with the wind? Yes, Wait. he can. Yep. Another touchline conversion from Jordan Lilly. Right, Bradford coasted Where? in this one this afternoon. Inside, Bradford 22, yeah, nice Swinton nil. We're in the 35th minute here at Bardacard So, So in the closing moments of the first half, where Bradford have done exactly what Eamon O'Carroll, their head coach, demanded and expected of them. Stay behind. Certainly a very, very dominant <laughs> performance. Oh. There's been a lot of patience. <laughs> Although Bradford, we've just put the mockers on them a little bit. They've allowed the restart from Jordan Gibson to go straight into touch. So, this will be Swinton's position of this afternoon. Go, We're go, coming go. into the final moments okay, of the game, okay. and now they've knocked the ball on at dummy half. There was no real pressure there on Lewis Hall. Take the line. And the one off. man at club does. servants, and ever present for Swinton, he's just took just his eyes the off the ball the point as it, it was being played oh, by yeah. Jordan Case. And from 20 metres out in front of the Bradford post, Swinton come up with error number seven of the afternoon. And that Hits is him, boys. the real Killing Half error. Bowling. That will ah! not please Alan okay. Kilshaw. From the scrum then, the 20 out from their own post, Bradford. One! They lead 22 points to nil after a couple of spectacular try scoring efforts this afternoon. But let me tell you, the ball from Holmes back in field, very Two early picked out! off, but Dyes Lehman has gone 100 metres. A valiant effort that from is. Young St. Terry's learning John Vaughan. Hold. But in the end, Lehman applied Three. the afterburners and he was he gone. And here goes Suter up to halfway now. One five, ten go, inside minute. the Swinton oh, half. It's gone quick enough. Four! Half. Move! Time Hooter Jordan. here by the card, Hudson. Four tries to nil. 22 nil on the scoreboard. Fulton picks the ball out Last! of the half. And Bradford are on the last oh, tackle himself. here. Well, yeah, Fulton's so gone down here second, and he's hurt himself. Second. He scooped the ball no. out of dummy half and he's he went straight into yeah, no. nothing in it, nothing in it. young John Vaughan and Jordan Gibson who were the two fast Swinton tackle. Lions yeah, defenders yeah. on the far stand side and just, I think this might be a hit for Zach Fulton one, because, nice, because immediately there's concern as the he's Bulls physio yeah, yeah, and yeah, medical fine. team come on the field, he's lying flat back, sorry flat on his back here on the Bardacard Odsall playing surface. York ah, have just gone in front at the LNER Stadium. It is York 10, Featherstone 6. So after Featherstone opened the scoring with Josh Hardcastle, it is Liam Harris and former Bradford man Joe Brown who potentially could be knocking Featherstone Rovers out of the playoffs because look at this for a score. Dewsbury now lead Sheffield by 16 points to four. 16-4, Dewsbury lead the Sheffield Eagles. And this is probably the game of big importance for Swinton because Barrow Trail witness at home by 10 points to eight. But crucially for Swinton and Alan Kilshaw's side as Zach Fulton remains down on the field here. Hey, Paul, very, very concerning injury coming seconds, up for Zach right, Fulton. Yeah? Jack Owens and Tom yeah, Gilmore. And it, that's with correct. the points, it is Barrow 8, Five. Widness 10. Well, just looking at those scores, Widness would move up to 29 points. It would be Sheffield who miss out on the playoffs. And as things currently stand, Featherston no, will be coming to buy the card on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll keep like you up to date like with the best we can. Zach Fulton's back on his feet here. Oh. 
We're in the final minute of this first half. Right, mate. Tackle five. Yeah, exactly, and Bradford oh, will right. have a play of the ball. Just hold it there. So there's oh, no, nothing in the tackle. remaining on the field. Tackle, tackle five. 22 metres out. Right, it's a good nice tackle. Go, Zach. So oh, Michael Smale's hand held aloft. Oh, Sam oh, Kick, kick, kick. Is clear. Right. kick chase pressure from Lily Davis. Also, Kieran Gill okay. and Swinton are going to be forced in goal here as Bradford on that kick chase pressure. They have done well. Oh, they're giving a try. I'm not sure what's happened there. But Samet's crossfield kick, a Swinton player, had the ball five metres out from his own try line. The ball has been lost in the tackle and it's been grounded by a white shirted Bradford player. We might have to wait for the. No, he surrenders, no one's on him. Ball carrying hands up, one on one. He's up before he hits the ground, he's up. Well, there you go. Logan Bailey is judge to have ground the ball. It looked like Bradford were going to force the goal line dropout. There was too many players around to see how that ball came out. But as the hooter sounds, Samet once again, it's his third try assist of this first half. And Jordan Lillick will make no mistake because this one is right at the side of the post. So Logan Bailey, the former Brisbane Broncos, North Queensland Cows boy, front row forward. He gets his first try in the Bradford Colours and Lily adds another two points. Half-time well, Hooter had already gone, so half-time here at Bardacard Odsall. The final round of championship action. Bradford lead relegation threatened Swinton Lions by 28 points to nil. There might be a little bit of fortuitous luck with how that last try was scored, but certainly when you like of Bradford building towards that return to the Super League. And uh, certainly when I had an interesting conversation with uh, one club owner this week, when we uh, have our almost daily WhatsApp performance, you know, the notion is when people say, well, if you are going to get back to the promised land of Super League, you've got to earn it on the, the field. The harsh reality is the IMG uh, criteria puts way. performance, <laughs> on-field performance, <laughs> as <laughs> third most important. So, uh, <laughs> well, as we sure say, it. if you look at digitalisation and fandom cold, yeah. and you look at finance, <sighs> clubs exactly earn a lot more points a through digitalisation oh, and fans yeah. than, they do, than they have <laughs> from on-field performance. So that is Whoa. what IMG <laughs> are clearly... <laughs> looking for they're looking for clubs with a lot of fans and a healthy balance sheet okay, over no. on field performance no, sick and, sick and, and we've just up. had boot to ball just here right at the start of this second no, no, half Swinton have thank been you. awarded their second penalty we didn't even get to tackle <laughs> number one there someone's gone Sunday high club, on no, Jack right. Stevens just, according to the mate, officials yeah. so it's the ball will be it, blasted right. into touch deep and maybe Alan Kilshaw has told his side what the score line is at Craven Park. Who knows? Monday, Monday. Certainly, all to Hold. play for between Barrow Hold. and Witness. All to play for here if Swinton can stage a remarkable oh. comeback. But this Bradford defence is in Where a very is? hungry mood and it doesn't want no, to give any Eben. leeway okay, to now. the blue shirted Lions, who are up to Three. halfway here after no. after no. to tackle Hold. one. Jordy Gibson tackle Go. two. Eves is in at dummy oh, half. Now it's in centre field as Tyra Knock has come on the field for his first four. taste of Together action. Now. So five Hold. tries in that first Hold. half. Bradford Go leading 28 0. Eves goes short side to Vaughan. Three St. Helens loanees in this Lost. recent side. And at the start of this second half with Hold. Bradford leading 28 points to 0. Swinton are going to put boot to ball here with Jordy Adam's Gibson, 25 okay. out from He's the Bradford right. line. They will target Holmes no. once again, Trenda! who has been really safe Stand under that high ball, and, and he'll be in man of the match contention oh. as he takes a crunchy tackle from Jaden Hatton there and Josh Eaves. And now Bradford have a little bit of work to do because Swinton have the ball oh. two metres out from their own line yeah. with Jaden no, Myers, no, who's going to ball. play the ball here, although he's lost it facing his own line. So Jaden Myers Bestie. has come up with the error here and this will give Swinton an early advantage right at the start of the second oh, no, half. Sixth error well, from the Bulls, the well, first of the this second half. 
Fuck and a on. chance now yeah, for Swinton to try and narrow the gap. I'm sure Alan Coulson at half time has told his side to be calm, be patient. <laughs> Start the game as it's nil nil. And Jared, heads in, boys. He won short oh, that line. On that silly Dan coach Frank. killing ill discipline that has hurt in the Lion so many times. Hold. So 28 nil. We're offside, that yeah. side. That's the deficit Swinton need to involved. overcome. <laughs> And it's another penalty well, here to the yeah, Lions because Bradford are guilty of being yes. offside Just inside the team. So two scrum. quick Jack. penalties Jack. to the Lions. Yes, yes, of course. Myers oh, with yeah. the error. back in from this side again. And now from Swinton, the they're not yeah. going to tap the ball. The they're going to oh, go for oh, the really scrum. Dimming it, boys. Right full line, Jordan. We know we're right with this one, yeah. Jared, Jared, pass the message on to Alba Hold. Stay. Down to the Up their sleeve. Okay, Here we okay. go with Stevens then. Zero. Oh, well, Stevens keep has going, lost the ball going, under no real pressure. Going. Picked up by Sammy. And I think that just sums up Swinton's yellow, afternoon thus far at Bar the Card oh. As now Bradford okay, keep the ball zero. going yeah. with Skur. Skur gets it back to Fulton. Bradford one. takes Shire yeah. halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Tackle oh. one. He'll oh. get to his feet. He'll no, play nine. the ball. Holmes at dummy half to Bayliss. Three Swinton defenders bringing down Big Logan nice. Bayliss, the 24-year-old Scottish international. He'll get to his feet, he'll play the ball. Skur goes on the attacking raid down the middle. Bradford up to the Swinton 40 meter line. Josh! Centre field. Hold! We've had two and a half minutes gone Evan in this second half. Set restart given to the Bulls. Because Evan Skur was just being held one. down in the tackle. Move. So Home. tackle one Go. of a fresh set. Tyron Ott, 20 okay. away from the line. Holmes one. now to Pelly. Tackle Lewis. two. Oh, Bradford, 10 metres out. Centre field attacking the south bank end in the second okay, half. Still two. There's another loose box, ball. Misses out Summit, but it's picked up by Franco, yeah. the former Catalans Wakefield. Three, man. Let him up, man. Takes Hold the tackle. It. 15 out, yeah, just to the left-hand side of the post. Lily in front of the post. Now to Bayliss. Wrapped up there by Hatton. Oh, and Ball. Hold Two on left it. for the Bulls. Go for Eight it. out from oh. that Swinton line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Summit yeah. in front of the post. Misses out Pelly. Okay, Lily. Okay. Lily to Gill. Okay. Try number 20 of the fun. season for Kieran Gill. <laughs> and if you've missed it, Kieran Gill. Second game back from that hip injury. He thought he had one last weekend against Halifax. That one was denied by the officials. This hey, one given. And Bradford now really, really coasting it's here at Bader Card on Sill. That instinctive roll lost, off the boot of Lily. And Kieran Gill. On. He gets try it's number low, 20 of really. the season. And Kieran Gill. He likes scoring against Swinton. That is his fifth try now against Swinton in 2024. This, of course, the third meeting between the two sides. They met in a quarter-final of the 1895 Cup and then they met at Haywood Road. Bradford winning both those. It was tight and tense here in the 1895 Cup semi-final. Only really settled with a, a Jordan Lilly drop goal in the last 10 minutes. It was 21 Another points time. to 12. <laughs> A little bit more convincing for the Bulls at Harewood Road. Well, when there, they yeah. went there on minute, Bank Holiday Sunday a couple of months ago, 38 points to 12. Minute on the kick. Time. Hello, Mick. Well, the platform was certainly set there by Skirt, by Pele, by Bayliss. Listen to that calf. And it was that lovely little roll down off the boot from Lilly. Precision, Coming grounded close. by Gill in the corner. From the fast hand touch. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. That yep, one yep. looks good. Yeah, not and it goes between the posts. <laughs> Bradford Bulls running riot here at Badakar Odsell. Six tries to nil. Scoreboard very, very favourable. Yeah, Bradford 34, you, Swinton nil. So, yeah, and that will be just exactly yeah, what one. Eamon O'Carroll would Up have wanted here. right at when the start ready, of this second half. Him. Knowing that Swinton were going to show a response. And now Swinton have gone Run, short. The Roman Tanker was hold. alert to that short go. restart. And now Bradford go on the attack once again. Their tension is halfway on tackle number two. Bayless is getting to no, his no, feet no, no, and he's no, no. playing the ball back here. Back to the line, come on. Just pushed back go there to. by Ant Walker. Need Johnny Lewis Mark. Hall. 
Here goes Pele from a standing right. start. Yeah, and Pele's right away. Yeah. Pele's still going. Beats one, beats okay. two. Find the support of Lily on the inside. Go, Electric go. passage of play oh. there from the Bulls. Oh. The 20 out from the no. Swinton line. Go, as Lily's me. told to get to his feet and play the ball. Little Davis Josh now Eves. to Skur. Yeah. Skur's run is halted by former Bradford man. Oh, Josh Holt! Who comes hold. in and wraps him up. The 10 back. away now with a tackle left. Samet takes the line Clear. on back okay. to Pele. Pele puts the big door, arguing, and Pele is doing it all okay. himself. <laughs> Who can stop Franklin Pele? Half of the Swinton side couldn't. It's back-to-back oh, -back tries, and it's a bulldozing, block-busting run from Bradford's <laughs> human bulldozer, Franklin so Pele. Try number seven of the Boy, season. Bradford seven for the afternoon. And Bradford now <laughs> carving Sweeten Lions up here. We've only had six minutes gone of this second half, but Bradford, they're playing with conviction. Very, very He's clinical there, play there. there. Oh, I cut the knee. And when you watch that thing from Pele straight into the face of Mitch Cox and Lewis long, Hall, there's no exaggeration. He took half the Swinton team over the oh, line with him. That's seven tries now, all yeah. scored at Bar the Cardinal sure we'll by much Franklin Pelly, who will be with the what Bradford Bulls for next season. <laughs> and one of the reasons when they speak to Franklin Pelly about him agreeing that deal, it was down to the fact Bradford will be there or thereabouts in the Super League Messi ING will be places short away again. Yeah, yeah, at the end of this wrong. season. Jordan Lilly then, 10 metres in from touch. No! Pushes this one wide. <laughs> Booze and G is from the Bulls faithful here. Bradford 38, <laughs> Swinton Lions nil, West Yorkshire Radio. Also syndicated coverage on so Bulls me, TV. Wigness have gone further in front right. against Barrow. <laughs> we, we are, it is now Wigness yeah, 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 yeah. 18, Barrow ready. 8. So that is oh, looking well and truly Look. like Wigness will be in the playoffs. Oh, Still a long way to go. But Duke for 16, six, six, Sheffield 4, no, call, man, and it's York 10, Featherston 6. As things they currently stand, Jesus York really. will host oh, Witness, oh. Bradford will host Featherston. That's as it currently stands. Oh, so Bradford nice. have made a hash when you're ready, of the restart. Clock off. Swinton finding a bit of space, and the ball has gone dead in goal. So Bradford now forced to drop out by the boot of Jared Salmon. Oh. So Swinton what? looking Man, for a response Franklin! here. Hold. They've not been Go. able to deal with that Bradford's Remain. intensity. Get now. Get which has been hold. by the forward Go pack. Good. Good. And Walker takes tackle two for Swinton. Zero, zero. Balls come loose in the tackle as Franklin Pelly has just yeah. put Take a big line. crunching tackle in there. Yeah. And that is now error number 11 yeah. of the afternoon for the Swinton Lions. So scrum ahead and feed to the Bradford Bulls. No sooner have Bradford had a little Shut bit of a, a switch off after that barnstorming Franklin Pelly yeah, score. They have come up, Mind up lads. with Vincent. an error. Down. Down, down, clock well, this off. is a very oh, highly man. intense Hold. performance by Hold. the Bradford Bulls. Okay, yeah. And I'm sure him and O'Carroll yeah. will be One, pleased man, thus far Hold. with the Don't improvements play. that he has seen his Bradford side. Jamie, still a few Jamie, areas that Bradford Jamie. needs to clean their game up on, but so Go far, to. so good. The lead swing to my 38 points to nil here. As Logan Bayless goes on a run yeah. down the middle. Five shy Go. halfway. Oh, Ott, out of dummy half, makes oh, five, ten. Ten, 15, 20 metres forward. And all of a Four. sudden, Bradford, Lewis. they've got that ascendancy. They've got oh. that momentum. They're inside Go. the Swinton Go. half, Go. looking right. to attack from deep as it goes out of dummy oh, half from Ott to Lily. Yeah. Lily now to Bayless. Bayless, once again, a big, strong carry from him. And let's not forget... Michael Lawrence all rested Go. this afternoon. Holmes has it, last it's tackle, it boot to ball. Targets young Dang Abram, yeah. who takes it on his own line. No. Stampers forward, no. takes the tackle on in the, right, field the play. Go on the one. 10 metre line, Vaughan's in there at dummy half. What can Reese Williams okay. do? Well, he's just run straight Help. into a Pelly Skur sandwich. Help. 
and he gets up Gantry. a little bit gingerly and groggily there and I suspect anybody who runs into Pelly and scores the field of the Swinton now on tackle three, still inside Frick. their own 20 metre line, Eves to Gibson to Wood. Oh, Mikey Wood wrapped up Hold. on his own 20 centre Go. field, tackle four coming up here for the Lions Play as up. they move the ball over on that right Last side edge, Stevens is wrapped up there Hold. by Mitch Souter, I do think it was, another four, the ball, the ball. Oh, kick yeah. is clear, yeah. Yeah. Swinton forced to kick from deep, such is Bradford's dominance in the forward and defensive department, One. 38 points Hold. to nil on the scoreboard, Jaden Myers has done Go well, he's returned the ball up to halfway as we see Franklin Pelly leave the field. Nathan Mason will come Hold. on for his fourth appearance. And it's going to be Nathan Mason who just goes charging down the middle looking for the Relax offload out now. the back door. But Hold. he's wrapped up there by Gavin Hold. Benyon. Still, it's a quick play of the ball that sets the platform. Sam it oh, yeah. to Lily. Yeah. Lily goes into a two man tackle led by Josh Eves and Jake Spedding. And he's brought oh, down over no! on the far stand Mate, side. Hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. The balls. A Is really right? strong start. Time off, Jack. The half four. time for him and O'Carroll's side. It was 28 0. Let, 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 a simple fire tries from Gil. Pelle. We've had 12 minutes gone in this second half as the sun just illuminates by the car Odsall here. Pitch looking a little bit worn and torn. Clearly, there's been. Yeah, we ought to know that. Son. This week in Bradford, you You're can see where the sand's been applied on the field. He's not to know that, though, Andrew. Michael Smale stopping He's the clock here that. because there's been a bit of head to head contact. So, oh, no, you're going to push the doctor will not come on the field. That's someone else to decide. Assess. But it is Bradford 38, Swinton nil here at Bada Carroll. So, though, not four at his changes either, once again made by Eamon O'Carroll, Remain Franco for Jaden Ockinbaugh, Jared oh, Salmon for Lee contact. Gaskell, Dan Smith. For Kevin Apple, ball, for Jordan Lillard. and Nathan Mason, for Michael Lawrence. Lady scores elsewhere in the championship. Barrow have hit back against Witness. It's Barrow 14, Witness 18 at Craven Park. Look at this for a scoreline. Paul March and the Jewsbury Rams lead at Sheffield Eagles by 22 points to four. And Whitehaven have taken the lead against Halifax. It's Whitehaven 22, Halifax 16. And we've just close to an hour gone. York Featherstone must have kicked off a little bit earlier than Bradford Swinton. Wait, just wait it is York 10. Yeah, I know. We'll Featherstone 6 at I'll the LME. I'm yeah. sure he's all right. <laughs> Jake Spedding. I'll tell you when, Staley. Leaves the field with on. that hit. Wait there, John. Wait there. He's been deemed he can't continue. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, Jack Render has scored a try for Hunslet. They now lead yeah, Rochdale by 24 go. points Four. to 18. So it's looking like it could be an all West Yorkshire affair at Cougar Park next Sunday in that really, uh, yes! in the League One Grand Swing Final. And of course, Hold. the winner of that is almost oh, certain to play Swinton, who trailed Bradford 38 0. Davis, Davis, Davis. Davis. Boots a ball on the last. Cool. Into Come the on, air, a shallow kick, Release. scores Hold. the kick chase defender, Go wraps run. up Dan Abram and Swinton back in possession. But Bradford two. defense no. it is on Hold. top here, not Hold. giving the Lions an inch. Williams brought down there Three, and Fred off the ball Go. just outside Good. his own Go. 20 meter line. Liam oh. Cooper, former Halifax, Whitehaven, Sheffield man's just okay. come on the field Clear. here. For Jake Spedding and Swinton ah, on the last play on ball. halfway here. Place, Jayden. As Hatton back. plays the ball, Eves out of okay. half back to Hatton to Williams. Okay, Franco comes in, but Swinton keep it going. Oh, right. Cooper <laughs> gives it to Gibson. Gibson crossfield kick still on the last, taken by Lehman, and Lehman is brought down there. No, Johnny Vaughan! Oh, Johnny! Oh, that was God. led there by T. Hands off, Johnny! And John Vaughan, the two St. Helens low knees. Two. So, 15 Move. minutes gone here at Bada Carnival. 25 Hold. to go of Bradford Go's. and Swinton's regular season. And Bradford, Three. with a Get very helpful, convincing lead Hold. on the Sorry, scoreboard Hold. to take into that playoff Hold. game, which at this Go moment. Three. It is looking like four, it'll be four, 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 four. as Lily kicks early in the count, looks for a 40-20, but Abram shifts across, deals with a danger. 
but look at this. Look at the energy. Look at Surrender! the effort. No sooner has yeah, Abram no! stopped the 40 20 and run oh. natural, he's trapped just oh. outside his own 20. Surrender tackle by Nathan one. Mason and Eben Skur. Franco, Bradford not right. giving me to me. any oh, chance no. to get back in this Good. game. Into an ear cut to Hattie. Hattie. Yeah. Three, run out! out. We're here for the Hold. visitors. Hold! 38, Swinton Go Hill. three! 24 minutes to go to half uh, to full time. Okay, yeah, okay. Swinton do break clear, yeah. and there's a rare opportunity really? here for the Lions as they move the ball out on the far stand side. Okay, but John Vaughan has been wrapped up here, but it will be a penalty because right. somebody, I do believe, has taken one of the Swinton players out who was running up on the outside. So it was a line break here by Swinton over on the far stand side. John Vaughan took the pass. And I think it was Kieran Gill and Max Lehman who Evan. came in with that crucial line, yeah. tackle to stop the try. Unfortunately, according to the officials, so high to anything. I'm, I'm, I'm someone's I'm gone high. I just think it's a bit on like T. Rickson, who was also part of that support. Right, right, don't so six four the penalty ready? count. Yeah, tap. Swinton will have the ball in front of the Bradford goals. All the time. Release! Even at this stage, Hold. with 22 minutes go to go, run. it will be nothing more than a consolation. A Swinton now okay. look to open the Bulls' defence up, but George Two. Gibson's not going to get Move. past Nathan Hold. Mason, Eben Skirt, and go. Romain Franco. Okay, zero. Well, the cheers in the background are going to tell you that Swinton have yeah. lost the ball zero. once again in good ball go. territory, oh. and that. Oh, Again, is another one, coach killer. Move! 13th error now Hold. from Swinton. Hold. And these Go errors one. are just hurting Swinton's ability and chance of getting some and building some momentum. It's Evan over. Skirt is dumped it's on over. his backside above the horizontal. The 20 out in front of his paw, so Bradford giving there. the penalty Very here. Crowd not happy at that. <laughs> Go, well, Bradford's defence just too strong, keeping Swinton to zero. Let's go. Touch. They've kept Jules <laughs> Britt and Whitehaven to zero here, here at Bardacard Old Solo. We're about to Run. see, which will be a big plus for Bradford's own playoff game next week if it is Featherstone who come here to keep the Swinton Lions to zero. Hold. Well, the go game's on. just getting a little bit it sloppy and scrappy, you feel. And Bradford will Too try fast, to Lewis. avoid going down Hold. that particular alley. Hold. So Nathan Mason's playing go the ball, through. 12 metres out in front of this Winton post. It'll go from up to Smith. Smith's back out there on the field for his second three. Start. He's Move eight now, Lewis. On tackle Hold. number three. Hold. Two to go for the Bulls. They've already crossed Swinton's line seven times. Samet flick on okay. pass to Holmes, to Myers, oh, and Jaden Myers, try scorer last week against Halifax. He was a try scorer in the 38-12 win against Sweden earlier in the season. In his 24th appearance of the season, Jaden Myers, try number 11. And that was good fast hands from the Bradford Bulls. Nothing there that Swinton could do because they were all at sea defensively trying to stop Bradford's big men. It was Smith who played the ball, then it was Summit. Summit to Holmes, pull it past from Holmes to Myers, and Myers just coursing past Williams, past Hatton, fullback Abram, not at home. So, eight of the best for the Bulls. 42 points to nil. We've just hit the hour mark here at Bardacard Odsall. And there's a chance here for Bradford potentially to hit the half century this sort of afternoon if they feel well, that they're in the mood. Yeah. predictor yeah. turned on 24% for Lily because it's right on this main stand touchline. But he has been impressive with the boot this afternoon. Five from seven thus far. And it's still York 10. Featherston 6 at the LNER Stadium. Witness have just scored against Barrow to take it out to 22 points to 14. What drama on the last day of the championship regular season. Yes. And Jordan Lilly does convert from the touchline. So with just under 20 minutes to go by the Cardinal, Bradford 
44, Swinton nil. Lehman with a brace. Holmes, Pellet, Bayliss, Gill and Myers on the scoreboard. Hunsley have gone further in front against Rochdale as Jordy Gibson's restart goes sailing out on the full. Bradford will be awarded their eighth penalty of the afternoon and this is just more self-inflicted. On you, Matt. Pressure that Swinton are putting themselves under. Cut the grass. Yeah. Whitehaven 22, Here, Halifax 20 at the recreation ground, and it's still Dewsbury 22, okay, okay. Sheffield 4. One! Man! It'll only be Dewsbury's second Hold. win of the season, but Hold. what a win for Paul March Hold. because it'll send oh, Sheffield oh. out of the playoffs. Bradford now Two. on the attack, the ten. looking for more Hold. points, potentially Go. the half century. He's pushing into it. Well, it's a penalty here to Bradford. Uh, They're nine for the Can't afternoon now because Ebenskirk's yeah. played the ball and you've got Swinton markers laying all over <laughs> Ebenskirk, not clearing the rook. It's got to get and to that was not allowing Tyron Ock to get the ball. Hold here, boys. Hold Mikey. So Mikey. Bradford now, after points from Jaden Myers, <laughs> they will go Stevens, hunting their ninth score One. of the afternoon. Move. 44 Hold. points to nil here. 18 Hold. minutes go. to go. Tyronot out of dummy half. Mason played the ball. Tyronot looking for try number two of the season. Hey! Yeah, you've got a hole. Push back in the field. Hold. Hold. Smith's in there at dummy half. Okay. Finds Lily. Okay. Lily crossfield kick. Looking Player. for Gill. Gill not palms touch, it out wide. Touch. That one's gone into touch. touch. Swinton ball. Not quite yeah. sure why Bradford did that the kick, there. I know they've got a very healthy lead on the scoreboard. And if it comes off, it's... All well and good, but probably just now seen Bradford straying away oh, yeah. from the Give game plan then. there. I'm sure Raymond O'Carroll wouldn't have asked for that no, to no, happen. No, keep one off. Keep one off. Oh. Don't no, think he'll be too walk. critical no, that Bradford have just yeah. an opportunity yeah. early in the no, set. Now we've got two again. 44 points to nil. Swinton will be relieved, though, that they have not seen their that line breached for the ninth time this afternoon. One! So, Hold. Go. the season enters the final quarter here at Barnacar. 18 to go. Hold. Hold. And as things currently stand, well after the release, come on, mate. Someone's got York to help you there, will host Witness next Sunday, and Feverston Rovers Touch will come it. to Barnacar. Halfway between. Game's just getting a little bit scrappy, as I said a moment ago here. Swinton awarded a penalty. Gibson will fire it into touch on halfway, and Move once right again, Bradford Hold. very Go firm on. defensively. Eves out of dummy half. Now it goes to former Bradford man, Mikey Wood, Release. Hold. who scored Go to. against Evans Leeds, Skirt. you might remember. Yeah, he's leading the game, he's leading the game. Victory over Leeds. Hold. A game Hold. that will forever go down in Bradford folklore. Second carry in the set sorry, from Mikey okay. Wood. Gives the ball to Benyon. Who's rolled over oh, by Sam and Mason? Hey, Smith hold. also the third hold. defender there. No. As the ball now comes down with Ant Walker. Ball okay. goes over on that Nothing right hand side, and Swinton have lost the Zero ball again. Zero. Guilty of overplaying there. The Gibson to the Cox. Line. Cox has lost the ball, 20 out from the Bradford line. Well, I'm not quite sure why we were Got listening middle. to a bit of dancing in the dark there, but it's got the bull Check supporters the beating the drum. and. And yeah, chanting. Right. Your teammates should help you there. Well, 14 errors Swindy now from up. Swinton this afternoon. <laughs> Mitch Suter oh, about to come on the field here. Heads in and down, lads. Elliot. Well, for the final Walk time up, in the regular season, the four players Out. who we're going to put up for the uh, Man Swinton. of the Match this afternoon, Franklin Pelly, is going to be on there for his impact One. and his two Move. tries. Tom Holmes Hold. is almost certainly on there Go. for... His ability to deal okay, with the okay. kicks from both Stevens and Gibson. We're also putting Jared Sammet in Hold. there. Not Hold. a difficult Go. thing to do after missing out last week, but with Lee Gaskell Jack having a back Stevens. injury, he's come in and he's three. had that Jack. calmness and experience Hold. and leadership. Hold. So Hold. Sammet's Go also three. in there. And I think we've got to put Eben Skur in as well. Oh, Eben Skur okay, now going down the middle, finds oh, yeah. the support of Suter. Oh. Suter's just come on the field for Jordan Lilly, incidentally. Oh. And what a season oh, Jordan Lilly's had. Together. He's played in all 31 oh. games. Go for. The only Bradford player oh, to do so. 
Skur once again down the middle. Oh, oh. Lovely offload from Skur. Now it goes to Mason. Mason oh, five metres out under the post. Play on it. the last. Suter okay. rubbers into the in goal. No, he doesn't. He's held up Not short of the it. line. And uh, Bradford concede and turn over possession. Just off his legs, not playing it. The Swinton line. Very, very nearly the half Dennis century for the Bradford ball. Ball. Drop it, So those are the four we're going to go with. It's been a very there difficult one to judge this here, afternoon. Yeah. But with uh, seven, sorry, 16 one. minutes left on the clock here at Bader Cardinal. So Bradford leading 44 points to nil. We're going to go with Tom Holmes. No, they've we're all gone with Franklin right. Pelly. Oh, right. okay, Jared Summit right and Evan Skirr. Get John! Kevin Apo, incidentally, Hold. currently leading Hold. the uh, man of match the match. Better. Votes this year with four. How? How? Nice. Well, it's good to see Mitch. who wins Hold. the, uh, the cup. Bradford Bulls live man of the year. 20. As once again, Bradford's oh, defence has just, just taken it. Swinton down into the corner. The on tackle four. Middle. They've just drilled the ball into touch Play on the ball, halfway, into touch. and now Swinton. Need them all on side, Tom. Have had a lot of fatigue put into their defence by this Bradford intensity off on a small pitch, and the way they are up in the tempo and playing the game this Help afternoon and team, really yeah. taking the game to Swinton. Help me on the teams, please, mate. Good to go. You almost Keep suspect a ninth try like could be on the cards here. <laughs> Well, I've had a card up to live in sunshine here for the final 15 Hold, minutes go. of the regular season. Max Lehman tackle one, Smith tackle two, Bradford two out no. centre field. Hold. It's been Hold. a real promising performance go, this ahead. afternoon for the Bulls as we see Samet now to Mason. Oh. Mason bounces off one, finally Three off on the there ball. by Cooper Hold. and Case. Hold. Go. Just outside the Swinton Three. 20, Suter to Samet. To Smith. Smith. Brother here. Arches his oh, back, faces the Swinton right. line, looks for the off oh. can't find anybody. He's told to play the ball as Bradford goes short side with Ott. Ott through a gap, nearly half chance. Tyron Ott, the oh. former North of the Bears man, is five away from the Swinton oh. line. They're on the fifth oh. and last tackle. Go last. Davis tries to pinch one out of dummy half, and his run is halted there Don't by Adlin and Vaughan. So, back for 44, Swinton nil. 14 and a half to go here by the card. Odd still they've turned over possession right on top of the Swinton line. And the Swinton tried to move the ball out from their own try line here. Jerry Bayless, no! Barrow, 18, Widnes, 22. Sheffield have hit back, but is it too late for them against Jewsbury? Paul March and the Rams. Lead Keith Senior and Simon Brown's Eagles by 22 points to eight. Four minutes to just look at this from the LNR oh. Stadium. Go for it. has been 10 6 throughout the second half, and that is how it remains. And that is a lifeline Hell. for Rally Rovers because Hell. that Sheffield result Go. is going to send Featherstone and James Ford oh, to the Sunday as things stand. Swinton, incidentally, they've had a full set of six. Not really been able to do anything because of Bradford's intensity in defence. So they've kicked the ball from the halfway line oh, and Samet yes, Hold. goes in behind Hold. Tom Holmes here. Just show you halfway Benny after Tom Holmes right. has made 30 metres. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Moving the ball from centre field yeah. to right of centre and five metres in from this main. Two here, boys! Hold. Two centre field Hold. with Myers. Go to. Suter, dummy Good half gift. now. Lehman. Three now, Max Cox! 100 metre Hold. effort in that first Hold. half. Go three. Down the middle, the go now with Smith. Smith offloads. Lewis, 10 metres! Bradford, 18, oh. 16 metres out. On tackle number Bryce four. Bryce. Hold the line. Hold. By number nine and Hold. potentially the half century. Go for For the third time this season at Bader Card Hudson, as Suter takes Antwoord. Last line, 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 14 minutes left in this one. Samet with a drop goal in front of the balls. He's missed it. He's iced it. Jared Samet, Ford had scored it, but he's pushed it wide. And that was good pressure there from Josh Eaves. He went straight into the vision. An eyeline of Samet. Well, Samet, Ford, he got it. And got his name on the scoreboard. As it is, it's going to be... A six tackle set coming Remain, up here now for the turn. balls. One, Romain, line! Remain front, oh, hold! I what Eamon O'Carroll uh, feels Go. about that one. I know Who knows, it's only four points to nil. 
Job well done. And Swinson have come up with another error here because Gavin Bengen has coughed the ball up under a tackle from Suter and Smith. So no sooner have Bradford missed the drop goal, a 15 for the afternoon, and now Bradford surging forward on the attack like a spring tide here. The 20 out with Davis. Now it's Suter. Two walks to Samet. Samet ducks <laughs> under one. It's still going, Jared Samet, the Maltese international. And he's five out from Stop the up. line no, before him. a tackle from Liam Cooper will force the former Barrow Workington Crusaders man into an error. It's only Bradford seven for the afternoon. Scoreboard remains Bradford 44, Swinton nil. We've got 11 yeah, minutes to go step. here at Vardacar. Just so. an extra step. Back for Lou Boy. It's in boys. Hold that line, guys. We'll be live Jam, on Tom. air Wait, next call. week. Off, same time, same place. We'll ah! watch radio. Good, good. 20 to yeah. 3. And as it's currently standing, it's looking like it's going to be Bradford against Featherstone. We will confirm those playoff fixtures at full time. But it Keep is the still... Mitch. Barrow 18, Witness 22, Hold. it's still York Hold. 10, no. Featherstone 6, and it's still Dewsbury 22, Sheffield 8. Here at Bader Carroll to Swinton. Release. A 25 Hold. shire halfway Go after that Jared Samet error. Josh Eves out of dummy half. Okay, Stevens okay. kicks. He's okay. Abram looks to regather. Bounce to the ball's kind. Swinton Three. recover possession. Okay. 10 inside the Bradford Release. half of the field. Hold. Mikey Wood Go recovered for. possession, the former Huddersfield Bradford man. Now Swinton spread the ball towards Hatton. Hatton's wrapped up though by Mayfield. Ah, also yeah, Samet in that tackle and Myers. No. Ball goes back in centre field here. Okay, from right. Hatton from Lewis Hall. Hall, I think he's skied it. What Dead is in it? goal, out on the full. That will be a six tackle set here for the Bradford Bulls. And it remains 44 Two points balls. to nil with exactly 10 really to go, go the on the clock. <laughs> Zero to come. Well, Bradford certainly doing what Eamon O'Carroll wanted of them in terms of being patient Zero for the majority of this game. Go. On his eye. It's just got oh, a little bit enough. away from the game plan, you feel, in the last oh, 10 minutes or so. Oh, oh, try from Jaden Myers in the 60th minute as Kieran Gill now carries Bradford up to halfway and floats the ball behind him to Suter. Suter somehow gets behind Gavin Benyon and goes on another attack in the Dan Finally brought down that's there two, by two, Spence. Two, 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 two. And Ritson. Thank you. Back down the middle, they're going to go with Smith. Thank Spent you. four seasons at Cambridge. Dan Smith is Hold. held in the tackle. Go 20 three. metres out from the Swinton line. Okay. Tyron okay. Okay. Not okay. Not it's Tyron Ox. Still three, still three. It's not played it, so it's play on. And now Holmes has possession. Holmes, lateral run, good movement here. He's got the dancing feet, Clear. finds Romain Franco. Franco okay. finds Samet. Samet's got gone without the ball. Nah, and that's an down, error against the Bulls here. Well, the officials are going to say it because it's gone to ground. I don't think it touched the Bradford player's arm, but because it's gone to ground, they're going to rule it's a knock on. Bradford. Very, 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 very nearly Jayden. scoring their ninth score of the course. afternoon. Well, Tyron Ock kicked early Jayden. in the county. Come off the back of one of the Swinton players. Wait, Holmes wait, wait, had wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Good 30, 35 metres across the, uh, the face of the post. Inside the 20. Found that support of Franco. 20, 20, 20. Um, and has Samet taken Franco's pass? He'd have been underneath the post. So... Swinton have kicked early here after that error from the Bulls. One, right, Jaden Myers has tracked back and recovered possession. And now Bradford are going to go on the attack. Downtown. Swinton looking vulnerable on that left hand edge. Kieran Gills, 10 inside the Swinton half. Oh, no. Still go 44 to. points to nil. John, don't you get involved there, mate? You were downtown. Well, the last sort of 10 <laughs> 15 the minutes, the it's almost like a, a, a training Three, ground nine, routine no. from both sides. Both sides oh. trying a lot of unorthodox things. Suter now to Smith. Smith, Reece, 10 Reece, out, oh! as we said, Bradford get, surging get, get, forward and Franklin oh, Pelly's come back out get. here for the final eight Third minutes. Four. He's on for the hat Draw trick this afternoon one. as we see Logan Bayliss look to score his second. Now Last line! 
wraps him Hold up, on. drags him to the turf. They're on the last tackle, the balls. Pele will get the hat trick. On the the bulldozer's oh, over God. again. It's a perfect three for Big Frank. Franklin Pele is just monstered and put the big don't argue on three Swinton defenders. And you could see that coming a mile off. A predictable rugby league move. Pele has the hat trick. I think he's going to get the man of the match for as well. He's been rock solid in defence. And in attack, he has been well, nothing oh, you mean, short so of he's inspirational. Really he really, well. he really does push the balls forward, oh, and I don't say that lightly. We've got six two. minutes left on the clock Good. here at Barra Card Odsall. And a chance now for Lily to get Bradford up to the big 5-0. Well, it's going to be Samet who's going to take over the uh, the kickings, of course. Jordan Lilly left the field... For time run the post, mate. Move to one side, Drews. Thank you. Well, it's going to be a totally different type of game <laughs> next <laughs> week. <laughs> so, Jared Summit. Jobs worth. Can he take the Bradford totally balls to 50? This will mean so much to Jared Summit on a personal note in front of his. Adoring Bradford fan base, kick predictors at 81%. And Jared yep. Samet can kick, you know. Bradford do hit the half century. We've got five minutes to go at Badakar Odsall. Look at this for a scoreline building momentum ahead of the playoffs next weekend. Bradford Bulls 50, Swinton Lions nil. Samet one from one this afternoon. As we've just said, it will be a total, totally <coughs> different the wind type of game here. next run, weekend. <laughs> okay. We still don't know who oh, is coming to Barra Card Odsall next weekend. Three sets. Because One. Barrow no, oh. have drawn within oh. two points no. of Widness. It's Barrow 24, Widness 26. An unbelievable Hold. afternoon Hold. of drama. Go to. Jaden Myers on the restart. Now to Summit. Summit from his own 20 metre line. Oh. Summit's oh. been Three. held backwards in the tackle. Oh. Officials say it's perfectly legal. Balls come loose now where Summit plays the ball. So it's going to be he's a scrum done, head and feed here to Swinton. Well, Tom Holmes has got the man of the match. As we he's said, he has been loser. impeccable the under the high balls. Jayden. And he will Would need you? to be just Hold as good again side. next week when potentially Sheffield might be coming to Barra Card Odsall because if Barrow can stage a late comeback there, despite Sheffield Down, being please, beaten Tom. by Dewsbury, off, it'll be Sheffield ah. who'll come to Odsall next Sunday. So, final minutes of the regular season. Bradford 50, Swinton 0. Oh. It's the perfect tonic for Eamon O'Carroll and the Bulls ahead of... Knockout oh, rugby league release! football that starts in earnest oh. next Sunday afternoon at Barra Car so They'll be looking to keep Swinton to zero here okay. as we see Jaden Hatton wrapped up there oh, by no. Bayliss oh. and making Bradford back no, upon their own try line after that summit error as Gavin Benyon draws in the Bulls defence of Kelly oh, and Smith and he's been play, told to play the ball. Five out After from the, the Bradford the line, and because Romain Franco's Run. coming as the third man, it's a penalty to Swinton. So nine six, the penalty count now was Ant Walker against his former club. Help, He's help. held up short, Release. and with two minutes left on the clock, this could be Swinton's last a chance to get some points on the board oh, this okay, afternoon. Okay, as John Davis okay. has gone straight in on Stevens, it's yes. legal, it's fair, say the officials. Hold. And Reese Williams, his run is halted. What can Swinton do here with Benyon? Gavin Benyon, the former right Warrington yeah, Wolves man, ah! once upon a time, is wrapped Release! up there under fierce Hold. Bradford pressure. Go the three. Bulls will be focusing on the big fat zero. Oh, and they might just get the big fat zero because Lewis right. Hall has gone without the ball. Five metres out from the Bradford yeah, line. A 16th error of the afternoon yeah, for Swinton.
And I tell you what, if Swinton uh, makes 16 errors and concede nine penalties against either Rochdale, Hunslet or Keefley in the Championship versus League One Grand Final win a relegation playoff in a fortnight's time, they're going to be heading to League One. Full time has come in at Craven Park. It has finished Barrow 24, Witness 26. Crowd are counting us down here at Barricado. So, Kieran Gill will well take done, the tackle from the scrum after that error from Swinton. And it's full time here. Bradford return to winning ways, just like they had done on the previous seven times after oh, suffering defeat in the championship. And certainly, they will take momentum into the playoffs. Bradford's defence.